Yeah, I didn't block that. Alright, nice. There's no point in going back to the vessel and resting again because the enemy's obviously obviously just gonna respawn. <laughs> hey, look at all the dead bodies here. Brutal. Oh, that hasn't seen me yet. I was just like jumping around. <laughs> What's in here? This looks like a little bit of a... I could also go up up the top here. Let's go up the top first. It looks like there's a chest up here. Flame resistance and module key. Oh, there's only one person over here in the corner. We could just take them out there. I thought there would be a little bit more around the corner, but there's not. Alright, in we go. I think something's shooting at me. But I don't see them. Oh, there they are. We'll try and still take down this guy before anything. Yes. Decent amount of damage. Oh, we got a few... A few people here. You know what? Before continuing... I'm going to have to take this guy out. Hang on. Alright, we're okay now. Hold on. Okay, good. One side completed. If I can get maybe in some sort of health potion, that'd be great. Nothing. We could lure this guy over to us. Oh, he came. Oh, that was the guy from the other side. Okay, so there should only be one shooty guy here. And that's it. That makes things easy. Clerk's office. Is that really everything? Hang on. What's over here? Oh, we can get into the middle. Look at this. Oh, oh I nearly screwed that up. Damn. Noble spirit. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to unlock that door down the bottom. I probably have to get there from the other side. If I had to guess. Oh, let's just have a look there. There's no, there's no harm in just seeing what happens when we run over to it. Oh, we can't just unlock it. Right, there was like a... Locked by a mechanism. I must find something I can ah, use okay. to replace this lever. Okay, so we do have to 100% go in this direction. These notes. Okay. Return the notes to Abagorgo. Okay, so that was that was the main mission. Now we have to just go back to him. Is there anything I can do up here? To be able to unlock the door? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I actually made that jump. Wow, that was not expected. I could have just... Oh, I didn't even see this before. I could have just jumped up here. I mean, I went the right way anyway, but... Replacement lever. Oh, that's it. Here we go. 
thank you to the trusty compass. Let me know exactly what this has to be used for now. Open the gates. Here we are. Okay, we don't have enough to really upgrade anything. And I think we need a bismuth rock, actually, to... Oh, nice. I think this will... Hang on, what? Didn't it say I could unlock it? Oh, I need a key. Okay. We might get a key from the boss. If there is a boss. been a lot of things to collect on this level. Pretty insane. I think I will stick to my armor. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can go down or up. I think down is sort of backtracking a little bit. There's a few monsters. I will see. We'll see where going up leads us. I think this is the right direction as well. Yeah. 63 meters. Oh, we get a health potion as well from that. Nice. Uh. Oh, here we go. Up the top there. Oh my god, look how far I can jump with this thing. That's insane. You just launch yourself. Dieu soit loué. It is such a blessing to see you safe and sound. This belongs to you. Bless you, whoever you are. You have our eternal gratitude. <clears throat> I believe you've met Monsieur Julien Raymond from distant Saint-Domingue. He's one of the most eminent members of our organization. And you, mademoiselle? What should we call you? My name is Aegis. Ah, yes. The Aegis. The mighty shield and scourge of Zeus. I wonder... Earlier, by the Pont Neuf, when you touched Monseigneur's ring, can you explain what happened? The ring called to me. It compelled me to reach out and take it. Come now. The moment I touched it, I was transported. Somewhere else. It was the same strange world that you were in, Monseigneur. Hell, you mean? Or purgatory. Hmm. I saw things there. I saw Monseigneur giving a sermon. What wickedness is this? This explains the moment when you froze. And this isn't the only time you've experienced something like this, n'est-ce pas? That is correct. It also happened with two objects I found in Place Dauphine. And what happened there? That is where I found your Bible and your cross, Monseigneur. How did you know they belonged to me? They demanded to be returned to you. You did not regain consciousness until I did so. This is madness! Let us not be so quick to judge, Monseigneur. Hmm. I witnessed the moment when your cross was taken from you. Then I saw you being locked in that box. Eh bien voilà. It is just as I suspected. Here, Aegis, look at this. Over the course of my research, I unearthed this ancient document. I believe I have finally uncovered its meaning. It's a triangle with an identical inscription at each corner. Nimi, memory in ancient Greek. Then in the center, there is an open eye which symbolizes awakening. Do you understand? The images you saw, Aegis, were Monsignor de la Farre's own memories. 
Three echoes of the past tied to personal objects of his. Three Nimi's memories which some dark alchemy had taken from him. Without them, his mind would have remained lost, incomplete. He would never have regained consciousness. But by returning these three objects to him, Aegis, you were able to save his immortal soul. Tell me, Aegis, when you were at the clerk's office at the Chatelet, did you perhaps see a leather wallet near the abbot's documents? No, Monseigneur. Ah, that is unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Hmm. Find him into the Robespierre. Okay. What does the compass say now? Oh, we probably have to get a little bit more information. Monseigneur. What task did you entrust to the abbot? The Holy Office ordered me to keep an eye on the Comte de Cagliostro. This charlatan imagines himself to be the heir of Mesmer, the magnetizer, and seems to have ingratiated himself with the king. There have been disturbing reports about him that could lead to his excommunication. It is said that he can make the dead speak. Can you imagine? I asked the abbot to investigate the surroundings of Eugène de Vaucanson's workshop, where the count had been seen coming and going for several weeks. I cannot disclose the details of what he discovered there, but it may well be related to the events that have plunged Paris into mourning. That other world where you were held prisoner, do you still feel its effects? This other world, as you call it, Igis, is none other than hell itself, Gehenna. The place the Lord sends those who worship the beast, but hell didn't keep me. Has God given me a chance to redeem myself, perhaps? I bid you farewell, Monseigneur. Wait just a moment, s'il vous plaît. You are one of Cagliostro's creatures, are you not? What do you mean? When were you... When did you... awaken? I do not understand, Monseigneur. Well, well, that is to say, you talk, you think, you seem to act with some sort of free will. This was not always the case, that much is clear. You must agree that not all automates are as sophisticated as yourself. I am attempting to unravel the mystery of your true nature. Tell me, what are your very first memories? That is a question I am unable to answer. How strange. In that case, you must surely be able to tell me who taught you what you know. What I know, Monseigneur? Hmm. How can I put it in a way that you'll understand? For example, you call me Monseigneur. How do you know that this is how one addresses a member of the clergy of my rank? I cannot explain it. I believe... Go on, Aegis. I believe that this knowledge is not mine. Well, I never. Did you hear that, Abbot? I caught every word, mon ami. That still doesn't explain what our next objective is, but maybe our next objective just has nothing to do with this place anymore. Alright, if we go to the journal. Shadows of Luxembourg. Must return to Cordelie's Covenant and inform Monsieur... Yeah, okay, so I think I just got to go back to my... Uh, to my wagon now, over that direction. Hopefully I can... Hopefully I can just walk over there. It shouldn't be too bad. If I can unlock this door here, I should just be able to go back, right? Yeah, nice. Go. And this is where we started. So we unlocked that to get back to the the area where we finished, just in one big circle. Awesome. So here we are, back at the carriage. Not much more to do in terms of upgrades. Um, here, Luxembourg. This is the next destination. Travel. And it seems to me like we've pretty much obtained all the equipment we need to access any sort of side area or anything like that. So we should potentially be able to go everywhere in this next area without 
having anything blocked off. I think this might also be... I was going to say the one place we haven't been, but we've definitely been here, actually. Because I remember all this. But, obviously, couldn't get up here before. <laughs> A lot of areas that we can access now. This doesn't really help me, though. Okay, let's just go where the mission is telling us to go. Over in this direction, and it should be pretty quick to get there now because we've we've opened up all the doors. Monsieur de Lafayette, you are safe and sound. Safe and sound indeed, but with a broken soul. I have just returned from Place Dauphine. I understand, Monsieur. The Guard National. I was too late. All these brave men cut down in a single attack. Why was I not among them? Alas, I am condemned to outlive them, and to witness an even greater calamity. What disaster do you fear, monsieur? It's a highly sensitive matter. I've been waiting in vain for a message of the utmost importance. Can you tell me more about it? Ma foi, at this point, I don't really have a choice. You can speak freely. Have no fear. Before the King's attack, I sent a squad of horsemen on a very important assignment. They were to collect a precious cargo at Gros Caillou. Not far from the Hotel des Invalides. What sort of cargo? I'm sorry, Aegis, but I swore on my life to keep it a secret. All I can tell you is that it would give us a decisive advantage. But I haven't heard from my men. I'm worried that the exchange may have met with misfortune. It is paramount that I learn what happened and who has the cargo now. The future of the Kingdom depends on it. Since it's so important, I will go there myself and attempt to solve this mystery. Okay. Go to the site of the exchange and find the riders. Oh, oh I think that may have been a side quest, like a, a side mission we we can attempt. Yeah, for the future of the kingdom. This is it. Ah, so we're getting a few side quests now. Interesting. For now, we are right here anyway, so we may as well continue with the with the main mission. Bien, Aegis. Did you make sure my men managed to collect the cargo? No. I haven't got that. Uh, oh, hang on. I did not mean to talk to you. <laughs> I wanted to talk to someone else, I think. This guy. Ah, you're back. Do you bring me glad tidings? The abbot is safe and sound. He is at the Société des Amis des Noirs with Monsieur Raymond and the Bishop of Nancy. Very well. Very well. May Providence allow them to reach us safely. Though I despise war, we must rally the people for battle as soon as possible. A reliable source tells me the arsenal at Les Invalides is overflowing with weapons, but a royal automat guards it. I now have no doubt that you are capable of defeating such a creature. But are you prepared to go back into the fray? Yes, I am. Very well. Try to clear the way so we can access the Hotel des Invalides. Once you've done that, We'll take care of the rest. A handful of patriots are already there. Their task was to open a passage to the east, through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. Very well. I will go and find them. Were you present when the Estates General was dissolved? Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I witnessed what it cost to defy the crown. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. It was more than he could suffer. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood. Positively angelic compared to the machines that have swept through Paris. Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Okay, I think we've got everything we need to know. If we go here, main quest. He sets off to meet the supporters of Monsieur de Robespierre. So we have to go back again, we have to go back to the caravan. So the only reason to come back here was literally just to talk to that bloke again. There is no hope of reaching Les Invalides by the moat. I shall have to go round it through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. According to Monsieur de Robespierre, his men have cleared a path for me. Cleared a path, okay. So we can't go through there. 
Oh, actually, can we jump over the top? We can. Nice. <laughs> so now we can go down here and, and open it. Excellent. 